Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, checking out the video. Uh, the topic we'll be going over today uh, is whole house load calculations or block loads. Um, the program we're using uh, is AdTex AccuLoad. Um, the program is ACCA approved uh, and is based on Manual J 8th edition. Our first step here uh, when you open up the program is to put in your customer information which I have done already um, and then you can uh, set your design conditions. Uh, once you set your design conditions you can click on save as default those will open up uh, for you every time you open up the program. To get started with your actual load uh, there will always be a room started for you in your outline. Um, here is where you determine are you doing a whole house or a room by room. Uh, in this example, like I mentioned, we will be doing a whole house. We can go ahead and put in some dimensions of our house. I'm going to say our, our walls are 9 feet tall. Um, Full-time occupants, I'm going to say we have three. You can either type in there with your keyboard or you can use uh, the drop-down calculator um, if you wish. Um, down here at the bottom, you're going to see a bunch of different internal loads, appliances, uh, refrigerators, freezers. Um, according to Manual J, we're going to put in a quantity of one. Uh, the 2400 BTU scenario takes care of the consistent uh, appliances um, that are constantly running, the fridges, the freezers, uh, some average TV and lighting. Um, and that's what you'll do uh, on just about every whole house scenario you're doing. From there, uh, we really get repetitious uh, the rest of the way. Um, up here on the menu bar, it says click an item to add. I'm always going to bring the mouse up there when we need to add a wall or window, a door, ceiling, skylight, floors. Anytime you want to add an item, you're going to be clicking up there on the menu bar. So I'm going to add a wall, and you'll see a wall show up in our outline. Um, and again, here's where the repetition sort of starts to kick in. Um, every single thing you add, uh, a wall, a window, a door, etc., um, you always have to give it a type and give it a size. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose uh, my wall construction. And again, I'm going to keep going through these categories until it stops me. Now once I've chosen my construction, I can come down here and put in my wall length of 40. I'm going to say this is the north wall. And then once I've done uh, that north wall, since we're doing a block load, we can take advantage of one of the many shortcuts we have in the program, uh, the add block load walls. When I click on this, you'll see that the rest of my walls are added for me automatically. Now in my outline, I can click on my north wall, and I'm going to go ahead and add a window. Once I add the window, again, we go right back to the repetition. We have to tell it uh, what type of window we have. Once we've chosen our type of window, we can choose our size. Now I'm going to add two more windows to this north wall. So I just click on window, click on window again, assuming they're the same construction and the same size, you don't have to change anything. I'm going to go ahead and click on west wall. I'm going to go ahead and add a window. And maybe this window is two by three. I can change that and you'll see it reflect um, in the outline. I'm going to go ahead and add one more window and call this next window 4 by 6 and you'll see that change again. I'm going to click on the east wall of my outline and I'm going to go ahead and add a door. Again, same repetition. What type of door do you have? Once it stops you, you can put in your size. Of course our house needs a ceiling, so we're going to go ahead and add a ceiling. I'm going to put the ceiling under a vented attic with some shingles. I'm going to choose my insulation value. Again, once it stops me, you can come down here and you see the nice thing about ceilings and floors is that we put in the square footage or the dimensions in that very first step when we put in our house dimensions. So since our house is 40 by 50, then our ceiling is going to be 40 by 50 as well. It automatically brings those across for you. I'm going to go ahead and add a floor. Again, we have to tell it what type of floor we have. And then once I tell it what type I have, or once it stops me, it puts in my dimensions for me. Um, three final steps that you must do on every, every system. 
Um, you'll see at the bottom of your outline, infiltration. Um, you can adjust your number of exposures, how many sides of your house are exposed to the outside temperatures. You can adjust your tightness um, as necessary. You can put in any fireplaces and you adjust your fireplace tightness um, as well. Ventilation. Um, you can put in any fresh air you're bringing in, um, any exhaust CFM, but only if the fans are bigger than 150 CFM, according to the Manual J. In the event that you're using an ERV or HRV, you'll check the box and put in the necessary specifications um, there as well. The last step before you can look at a report is duct load. If your duct's in a conditioned area, the screen will gray out. You don't have to do anything. If the duct is in an unconditioned area, it's just like adding a wall or window. You tell it what type of system you have, and you tell it where the duct is located. Once you're done um, with the duct load, we can check out a report. In order to check out your reports, we click on Reports on the menu bar. It brings up a little report generator for you um, where we can preview the report. When I click on Preview Reports, uh, you'll see that it gives me uh, my System 1 uh, report. It breaks down your walls, your windows. We have the ACA Manual J logo showing the program is approved. And then down at the bottom, you're going to get your total heating and your total cooling BTUs for everything that you've just entered in. Um, for more information on AccuLoad or any of our other programs, uh, please give AdTech Software a call at 815-452-452. 2345 or email us at sales at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.